for our hands and the heels of our hands and stuff. So we will be starting it with our mat rolled. So mine's super long, but then you could just fold it in half and then maybe another one if you want. It just depends on how, um, how thick your mat is. I have a Pilates one, so it's like super thick. Um, but we will start like that with it all folded up, okay? So, oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it, guys. All right. So let me make sure we're good up in here. Hi, everybody. Just joining in. It's all good that I can't see you, I guess. It's weird. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to I'm going to yell, but I'm going to make sure we kind of have some music. I hope this works today. All right. So what we're going to do first is let's stand behind our folded up mat. You're going to take your plates or your sliders. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm going to use my, I'm going to try my normal sliders. So when you have the sliders, you're just going to place them right behind your mat. I hope you see me. Here. All right, so you're going to place it behind your mat, and then what I want you to do, let me adjust again, what I want you to do is put, say if this is your foot, your toes, and the ball of your foot here, heel of the foot, you're just going to place the ball of the foot onto the center of your um, plate or your slider, and make sure the heel is on the ground still, so you're, you're allowing the heel to grip onto the ground so you're not sliding anywhere, okay? So that's how I want us to stand. But as we stand, let's make sure we're hip width distance apart, okay? So, facing our mat. Let's get our ankles and our knees aligned to our hip bones. I'll just face you guys instead. And now let's start by reaching the hands up to the sky. Let's go really tall. Exhale, nod your chin to your chest. And I want you to slowly roll each vertebra all the way down. All the way until you're really heavy in your head, neck, and shoulders. And wiggle your hips around. Give your lumbar spine a nice deep compression right now. You can nod your head yes and no. Just loosen everything out. Now let's interlace the fingers behind our back. Now squeeze the shoulder blades together. It's like you're holding a $100 bill in between your shoulders. And reach the knuckles up to the sky. Start to nod your head yes. Start to nod your head no. Get it for three, two, one, and let's gently release. Let's bend the knees all the way. Shift the weight into the heels. We're going to curl up, tail to head. Reach the hands back up. We're going to flow two times. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, nod your chin to your chest. Roll it all the way down. Let's get really heavy. Bend the knees. Dig the weight into the heels. Stand up, curling belly button all the way up through the crown of your head. Last one. Grow tall, pull the belly into the spine. Exhale, slowly curl down. We're just getting a lot of mobility through the spine first. Relax your head, bend the knees, weight shifts into the heels, curl up, core is engaging, reach the hands back up. Now get ready. We're going to go into plank now. Nod your chin to your chest. You're going to roll all the way down. You're going to place your hands onto your mat. Make sure the palms are in alignment with your shoulder blades. Start to bend the knees. And on an inhale, pull the belly in. Start to slide out to your plank. Hold your plank for me. Get really stable, get really strong. Press into both toes and palms evenly. Start to elongate your neck. Bring the shoulder blades down toward your hips, pull the belly in. From here, we're going to bend both knees into the chest. Exhale, slide it out. We're getting the slider work in. Pull the belly in, exhale, slide it out. Every time you bring the plates towards your shoulders and chest, go ahead and allow your hips to lift up just a tad to help you slide in and out. We're working this for 10 more seconds. Get really stable through the core. Good. Feel yourself get really engaged through the abs. You're in it for three, two, and one. Kick out to plank, hold it for five, Four, three, two, one, bend the knees in, drop the heels onto the ground, palms come to prayer, hands stand up, and we're going to work a squat, no, what are we doing, a slow burpee, into plank, drop in your squat, 
Hinge at the hips, palms go onto the mat, slide back out, get stable. Slowly bring it in. Draw back onto the heels, stand up. Drop into the squat. Now, I'm using a lot of movement and a pace that's very Pilates, which is slow controlled movement. Right now, we wanna make sure we're not trying to push into speed. Instead, through your slow controlled movement, I want you to bring awareness to your entire body. Make sure you're always aligning through the entire movement. So you're not bypassing intrinsic muscles. So take everything slow and work from here. If you need to modify, you could go onto your wrists rather than your palms. Palms or your knuckles could face each other if you are on your knuckles. We're working this for 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna slide out to plank, keep going. Keep the flow really controlled for me. Five seconds from here, we're gonna all hold into a plank and work a jackrabbit in three, two, one. Let's slide out to the plank, hold it. Now from here, squeeze your inner thighs together. That means your toes come in, good. So knees could touch as well. Now, use your abs, pull the knees in, exhale, slide out. Pull the knees in, exhale, slide out. You could do it, abs engage, neck is long. Work through it. Get real stable for me. Deep breath. In 10 seconds, we're gonna work a slow mountain climber. That means one knee is gonna go to the same elbow and we're, we're gonna switch. Let's start it with the right side in three, two, find your plank. Now right knee comes to the right elbow and switch. Left knee to the left elbow. Switch, switch, switch. Take it this slow, switch, switch. As you do this, try not to move those hips. Imagine your hips are floating in the middle of the air. Switch. Now, in eight seconds, we're gonna pick up the pace. You're gonna sprint out the mountain climbers for 15 seconds, deep breath. All happening in five, four, three, two, let's go. Fine, that speed. Switch, 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 switch. Deep breath. Core is engaging it. Let's get stable. Push it, let's go faster, faster, faster. Let's get it. Don't slow down. Eight more seconds, push. Keep breathing, faster, faster. Four, three, two, and one. Drop on your knees. Hips go back, reach the arms forward, deep breath. Good job. We're gonna come back up, nice work. Once we're up here, we're gonna take a break from the sliders really quick, put them away, unravel your mat. We're gonna get into abs real quick. Then we're gonna go back to that same sort of mountain climber. Well, I'm gonna be switching things around. We will be piking but then we will be working that sort of gear shift when you work mountain climbers next, okay? Just letting you know. But for now, let's get onto our mat. Toes could reach any side of the mat. And let's start it off with long legs. Reach the ankles and knees, hip width distance apart. Let's get them super long. We're gonna mobilize the spine again, reach the hands up. Flip the palms up to the sky. Give me a shoulder shrug. Pull the belly in, we're gonna do a roll down. Imagine someone's kind of gut punching you through the belly button, and then you're gonna slowly roll down. Keep the heels down. Use your abs, keep them down, keep them down, all the way until your head touches. Arms reach above your head. Same pace, reach the hands up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, nod your chin to your chest, keep the heels down, slowly curl up, don't let them lift. Use the abs, imagine someone is about to sucker punch you and then roll up, tail to head. We got this two more times. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, scoop. Keep the heels down, relax the shoulders. Make sure you're not going into the shoulders. Yes, very good. Head's gonna drop. Reach the hands above your ears. Reach the hands back up. Inhale, exhale, nod chin to chest. Use your breath to come up. Scoop the belly, keep the heels down, use the abs. Relax those shoulders, make sure we're not hiking it up. Reach over, roll up, tail to head. This is our last one, grow tall, inhale, scoop the belly. Good, you got it, you got it, use your abs. Start to roll it down. Hands go above the ears, 
Reach them back above the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, scoop. Keep those heels glued down. You want to arc over an invisible beach ball. Reach over and roll it back up. Nice job. Knees bend now. Scoot your tush forward. We're going to lie down on our backs. Once you're there, let's pull the knees in your chest. Give them a little hug for me. Good. And you can rock it out side to side. Loosen up the low back and hips. You're in it for three, two, and one. Now let's extend only the right leg up to the sky. Extend the left leg long. Point the toe. Or make sure there's like no plants in the way. <laughs> All right. Now I want you to point the toes. As you pull that right leg toward your chest, shift the right hip bone down so you're not you're not creating a, a scrunching in the right um, waist. Come up into a curl. Scoop the belly deep, press the calf into the hand, and pull the belly deeper. Hold your pose, turn on your abs, don't move your upper body, just legs, we're gonna switch. Inhale, exhale, switch, don't move the legs, or don't move the upper body. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch, take it slow. Inhale, exhale, switch. Now, as you do this, look at your ankles. Make sure the ankles are tracking in alignment with the knees and your hip bones. Always work aligned here. Good, try to extend full leg all the way up through the toe, all the way through the core. Can you come up one more inch higher? Switch, take it slow. And switch, take it slow. Now relax the shoulders. If you feel yourself going into the shoulders, Bring all the strength into the abs instead. Try not to strain the neck and switch. We have two more sets, okay, you got it. This is two and two and one and one. Both legs meet, head drops for a second. Now keep the legs up, reach the hands behind your head. Come up into a crunch. Now from here, left leg drops down, left elbow goes to the right knee. Get ready, scissor, switch, and switch, and switch. Turn on the openings, switch, switch. Now keep extending that toe up to the sky. Try your best not to bend the knees, but keep the legs long with a gentle bend so you're not locking out the knee joint. Keep reaching the toe up to the sky. Let's get the other shoulder up another inch. Dig the bottom shoulder down to the ground. Come up higher. You got it. We have two, two, one, one. Both legs meet. Grab the back of the thighs, knees bend, head drops. Good job. Now let's come up, or only your upper body, head, neck, and shoulders. Bring them up. Press the back of your thighs now into the hands. Scoop the belly deep. Now make sure the knees are over the hips. Very good. All right, now extend the right leg long. Your right hand goes on top of the left knee. Your left hand goes in front or over the shin. Pull that left knee to your heart. Good. Drop the shoulders down, lift the elbows wide. Scoop the belly, don't move the upper body. We're gonna switch, inhale, exhale. Switch, don't move your, your crunch. And switch, and switch, don't move the crunch. Now, are you shifting side to side? If you are, get stronger through the abs and make sure you don't shift. Try your best. Let your core control the legs. Now, every time you extend the legs, point that toe across the room, like you're about to touch the wall. I want you feeling length through your entire body. It is strengthening, but we're also lengthening. You could do. It is two, two, one, one. Both knees meet, head drops, quick break. Hands go behind the head now. Interlace the fingers, come up. Now pull the right knee to your chest, extend the left toe, and ex or bring the left elbow to the right knee. Get ready, let's switch it out. Switch, but take it slow, switch. What I want you to do is hold your form. So when you go into your twist, your bicycle, take a little pause, hold your form, then move. Pause, hold your form. Feel yourself lock into the strength and lock into the form. You got it, everyone. Deep breath. Turn on the abs for me. You could do it. We have four and four and three and three and two and two and one and one. 
knees, bend the head, drops, take a break. And now we're gonna come on up. Now let's work those sliders, all right, good job. All right, so let's come on up. Let's take your mat, fold it back in half, awesome. Pull it back in half, and another half if you want. All right, everyone, get ready for oblique time. So instead of two sliders, we're just gonna use one slider, okay? So just one. Now what we're gonna do is take that one slider behind your mat. You're gonna get the right foot on top of that slider, or the right ball of the foot on that slider only. Your hands or your knuckles, I'm gonna go into my knuckles, they're gonna drop onto your mat. From here, let's press out to plank, all right? So extend the right leg with the slider underneath it and then the left one as well. Hold your plank, let's get strong here. You got it. Now we're gonna work a jumping mountain climber. So start by pulling the right slider in and then little hop switch, 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 switch. Now this is where your booty could pop up a bit, that's okay. Switch, switch. You're working the slow pace for 10 seconds, and then we're gonna pick up the speed. You're gonna sprint it out for me. We're gonna go in five seconds, deep breath. Three, two, one, let's go, speed. 10 seconds of this. Hop, hop, and switch, 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 switch. Can you go faster? Switch, 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 switch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it home, nice job. Knees drop, deep breath. Keep the slider underneath the ball of the toe. Now, we're going to slide out to plank. Hold your plank. Now, left ankle goes behind the right ankle. So again, left rests behind the right. Now we're gonna drop your right toe behind it. That means your left hip bone's down. And that means your, your right hip bone's down and your left hip is reaching to the corner of the room. What we're gonna do is pull both knees in and exhale, slide out. Keep your twist, keep that right hip down. To clarify, that right or the left toe or both toes are on that slider, but you're keeping that tilt in the hips, working a twisted jab rabbit. You got it, eight seconds. Deep breath, almost here. You're gonna hold your plank. In three, two, hold your plank, keep that twist. Your left toe touches the ground, side plank. Reach the left hand up to the sky. Hold your plank, let's get strong. I'm just gonna go this side because it's awkward. <laughs> All right, so once you're here, get ready for hip dips. Drop that bottom hip down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Extend all the way up through the crown of your head. Deep breath, you could do it. You're in it for five. Four, three, two, and one drop onto that knee or hip. Good job. We're gonna go straight to the other side, okay? Slider, we're gonna put it underneath the left ball of the foot. You guys are kicking ass. I should change this song, it doesn't really help. All right, okay, left ball of the foot. Let's put it underneath, or the slider underneath that. And then, hands go back onto the mat. Slide out to plank in three, two, one. Let's slide out. Now let's pull the left knee into the left elbow. Get ready, we're gonna do a slow switch. And switch, pulling right foot forward and switch. Switch, switch, there you go. Now stabilize your shoulders. Keep your shoulders over the wrist the whole time. Very good, nice job. Pull the abs up and in. Try to get really light. Try to really engage the core. Allow your abs to help the hips. Six seconds, you're gonna pick up the pace. Deep breath, all happening in three, two, one, let's go. Speed, 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 switch, 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 switch. Keep going, push through it. You got it, let's go faster. Faster, 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 faster. Let's get it. Six seconds, push. Don't slow down, let's go, let's go, let's go. Three. And two, and one, bring it home, child's pose. Take a deep breath in, and let's reset. Slider underneath the ball of the foot. You guys are kicking ass. All right, so underneath the ball of the foot. So when we slide out to plank, your right ankle is gonna go behind the left heel. 
That means the hip is dipping, okay? So, let's go ahead. Whoa. Let's go ahead and find it. Let's get solid in the upper body and slide out to plank. Stabilize through the left toe. The right ankle goes behind the left heel. Dip your left hip down. Both toes touch the slider. Pull the knees in, exhale, slide out. So both toes are sharing the same slider. You can do it. Stabilize both toes. Allow for the lift of the right hip to help lighten the load. Pull it in, exhale, slide out. You're doing great. You're working this 10 more seconds. Let's get stable. Let's get stronger. Don't give up. Five, four, three, two, one. Slide out to plank. Drop the right toe down. Reach the right hand up to the sky. Hold the side plank for me. Modify, you can stack the knees. You got it. Let's breathe. Let's hold it. You got it. Get ready for hip dips in three, two, one. Dip it down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch, deep breath. Let's get stable. Good. Open up your heart, look up a bit. Make sure you're not looking down at your toes. Long line. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop it down. Nice job, everyone. Breathe it out. We're almost here. You guys are kicking so much butt right now. All right, so we're gonna go back to two sliders, okay? So two sliders. Put the sliders behind your mat. Let's stand up. And again, make sure the heels are behind your sliders. Take a deep breath in. We're gonna go back to the same movement or the same series as when we started off, okay? So let's start by a quick roll down. In the roll down, palms plant. Slide out to your plank. And instead of a jackrabbit, we're going to work a pipe, okay? So that means you're lifting the hips up to the sky. All right, reach the hands up. Grow tall, feel yourself elongate. Exhale, nod your chin to your chest. Roll it all the way down. Plant the palms or your knuckles. Bend the knees. Stabilize shoulders over wrists. Now slide out to your plank, get stable. Hold your plank for me, deep breath. Abs in, get ready. You're going to lift the hips up to the sky in three, Two, one, lift up, exhale, slide it back out. 20 seconds of this. Go to your pace. If you lose a slider, it's all good. You could use both toes onto one slider, it's all good. But use the abs to lift up. If you feel like it's too hard or it's too heavy, use the abs to help lift higher another inch just to get yourself lighter and stronger. You're in it for 10 more seconds. You're doing great, everyone. Deep breath. Core is engaging. Four, three, two, one. Bring it home. Um, bend the knees. Put the heels onto the ground. Stand up. We're going to go into our squat. Whoa. Our slow burpee plank, all right? So we're doing this for 20 seconds. Ankles and knees underneath those hips. Palms come to your heart. Drop in your deep squat. Palms go onto the mat, slide out to your plank, bend the knees back in, drop the heels down, stand up. Getting full function here. Every time you stand up and squat, I want you to look at your ankles and knees. Make sure they're always tracking in alignment with your hip bones. So even in these simple movements, take advantage of it to align the body. But keep pulling the abs in. Even feel the sides of the waist go really long. You're working this for eight more seconds. And then we're gonna go into a slow mountain climber. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Let's all find our plank. Find your plank. Stabilize here. Get ready. Slow mountain climber. Right knee folds in. And then slowly switch. 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 Take it slow and switch. Elongate your neck up and forward. Make sure you're not dropping your head down. Feel the entire spine elongate. That includes your neck. You're working the slow mountain climber for 10 seconds. Keep breathing. Core is engaging. Feel everything turn on. Intrinsic muscles helping the global muscles right now. Four seconds. Pick up the pace. Three, two, 
One, let's go. Speed, 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 speed. Push through it. Deep breath, let's get it. Keep that head up. Breathe for me. Working it, Oop. working it for five, four, three, two, and one, and bend the knees. Drop back onto the heels, stand up. Reach the hands back up to the sky. Lovely work, everyone. We're almost here. Our last series, booty time. Let's take the mat out of the way. We're gonna use one, oh, actually, mm, yeah, let's do one. We'll do one. <laughs> All right, so, only one slider. Let's get into the right foot. So right foot, I know you can't see me. My bad. All right, so right foot. Oh, but you can't see my feet. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, so right foot onto the slider only. What we're gonna do is step your left foot out to the side, the right foot is gonna go back into a curtsy lunge. Once you're here, bend both knees, palms could come to heart. Stand up and reach that right leg long. Now side lunge, slide it out and back up. Reach the right toe behind the heel and curtsy lunge. Keep pressing that right hip bone forward and up. Out to the side and side lunge. Stand up tall. Now, this is where I want you really grounding all of your weight into the left heel. Make sure you're not shifting any really of the weight to the right ball of the foot. Really work through the slide. Keep the core engaging. Right toe out. Shift the weight into the left heel. Stand up, curtsy lunge, last one. Then we're gonna go into a side lunge and hold. Side lunge and hold. Drop into that side. Reach the hands forward, we're pulsing now. Up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. Shift the weight all into that left heel. Pull the belly in. Feel the sides of the waist go long. Relax your shoulders. Focus on strengthening heel to glute in that left side. You got it, you got it. Deep breath, I know. You could. You got it. Let's push. You're in it for eight more seconds. Yes, Sammy, I see you. I see all of you, you're doing amazing. You're in it for four. Yes, BJ, three. I'm muting myself so I can do it. Bring it home. Wiggle that shit. Can I cuss? Wiggle that shit out. Good job. All right. We got to even it out because that would just suck. All right. So we're going to get the left ball of the foot on top of that slider. So left side, okay? All right. Once you're here, let's get palms to prayer hands. We do this just to really get the upper body aligned. Lift the elbows up. Get ready for curtsy lunge. Shift the weight into the right heel and swing that left foot behind. Press your left hip bone forward as you work that curtsy lunge. Bring it back home, shift it back out and slide it out. Keep going. And curtsy lunge, woo. All right, curtsy lunge. And bring it back out to the side and side lunge. When you work your side lunge, Allow your torso to lean forward a bit, just so you're not creating an arch in that low back. You always want to keep that lumbar spine long. So when you work any lunges, shift the hips back. Make sure your knee doesn't go past the toes. You wanna to try to stack the knee right above the ankle as best as you can. We have one more set. Pull the belly in, spine is long. Reach the opposite leg behind you. You're gonna hold this side lunge, hold it. Now drop into that side lunge, reach the hands forward. Let's pulse up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. Drive through that right heel, pull the belly in. Make sure your lumbar spine is long. We're not arching that back, work through that burn. You could do it. Deep breath, we're building strength right now. Can you go one inch lower, work for me, let's go low. You got it, good. Lift that left heel, point that toe, eight seconds. Push through the burn. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Bring it home, wiggle it all out. So good, everyone. Okay, so this is how we're gonna finish it off strong. We're gonna do one mountain climber set. We're gonna be working 30 seconds of mountain climbers, but we're gonna be shifting gears. We're gonna find, for 10 seconds, we're gonna um, find a cadence that's even. 
And then for the remainder of the 15 seconds left, we're gonna speed through that sprint, okay? This is our last one. So let's get all the strength in this. You guys are kicking so much ass, I'm proud. Really good job, all right, so. Let's go ahead, well actually, if you don't need the mat, all good, if you do, just to protect your hands, great. All right, we got this. So, let's get both sliders underneath the balls of our feet. Let's get palms underneath the shoulders. Let's get the toes and knees hip width distance apart. Elongate your head and neck. Pull the abs in, get ready, lift the toes up, knees up, I mean, and slide out to plank. Slow mountain climber, take it slow. Now, as you work the slow mountain climber, pull the belly into the spine. Imagine that there's no way for that belly button to move over that, that area in the, in the floor. Keep it stable. Don't let the hips move too much. Four seconds from here. We're gonna work our last sprint. Let's get it in three, two, one. Let's go for it. Speed, 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 speed. Push through it, let's get it. Deep breath, don't slow down. Let's get that speed, increase a little bit more. Switch, 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 switch. Eight seconds from here, let's go faster. Speed, 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 speed. Push through it. Four, three, two, and one. Drop on the knees, child's pose. Reach the fingertips forward. Take a deep breath in. Be so proud of yourself. Let's lift the hips up, pull the knees wide now. So it's like you're creating this, this uh, V shape. Now shift the hips back, open up the hips, press the fingertips forward a little bit deeper. You're in this child pose for three, two, and one. Left hand threaded underneath your right arm. Look underneath your right elbow, pull that left shoulder and pull the right hip back. Feel that stretch for three, two, one. Other side, right hand, thread it underneath your left elbow. Pull that shoulder long as you reach the right fingertips away. Pull the right hip back. You're in it for four, three, two, and one. Let's bring it home. Let's curl the toes underneath our heels and lift the knees, go onto our heels, lift only the hips up. Let me make sure I'm center. So now let's just hang. Allow for your upper body to relax. Feel the upper body, upper body's weight. Start to elongate a little bit more. Bend your right knee, press that left hip back. Twist the left hand up to the sky, you're in this twist. Elongate the spine, shoulders down. You're in it for three, two, one. Other side, left knee bends, right hip presses. Reach the right hand up to the sky, elongate the spine. You're in it for three, two, one. Twist to center, bend the knees. Grab the elbows, nod your head no. Shake out the tension. Nod your head yes. Release some more tension. Start to wiggle the elbow side to side for five, four, Three, two, and one. Let's release the hands, bend the knees, shift the weight into the heels, curl up just as you like that earlier, bro. Oh. Back up, bitch. Squeeze the glutes. Whoa. Reach the hands back up to the sky. Oh, yeah, you're like, what's happening? Palms touch, bring it down to your heart. Saying thank you to yourself, ladies and gents, for kicking so much ass today. I applaud all of you. Good, I know. Yes, I understand. Let's take a selfie. <laughs> Let's take a sweaty selfie. All right, I'll let you know when I'm about to release the, the screen cap. Sammy, oh. let me know if I'm doing things right. Get my video working. Oh, Sorry. Right. Sorry, I'm not on. <laughs> All right, all good. All right, ready? One, two, three, yay!